MOS transistors, V1, V2, and MOS transistors, and the A. Okay, third in MOS transistors, B and C are two in MOS transistors. Third one, A. We are designing A into B plus C. We are designing A into B plus C. Okay, so that's two for A into B plus C. I will take three in MOS transistors, go to a new one space, go to the component. And in MOS transistors, I want the number two one two one three transistors. Let's see a button. The two transistors bottom. Okay, the train terminal should be connected together. Source should be connected together. The lower end generally we will be connecting to ground, and the higher end we will connect to VDD. Generally we will connect to VDD, and at this point we will take out. This point we will take output. Okay, so we will try to design and we will try to design. B and C at this extreme, B and C at the extreme. The third end loss we have to give A voltage. Third end loss we have to give A voltage. I will first connect the wires, the uh, drain points, connect it together, source points. Connected together, and then two CN MOS connected here, and I will take this here, and I will take voltages. Three voltages are required. Three voltages are required. This is voltage B. This is how to reverse this. I have to take the in loss. Here I have to connect A. So if you see here, this in loss, okay, it should just control E. And I have to put it here. The two in loss to be face to face each other. Two in loss, it should be connected face to face each other. I have done it now. And now I will go with the zoom in. Then I will connect one one ground to the voltage sources. I need one one ground. Let's see what happens. Use the wiring, connect the ground to voltage source. Connect the ground to voltage source. This is B, input variable B. This is input variable C. Here I will take the output. Here I will take the output. Let's get the done. Okay. Because whatever voltages we are going to do, 0 to 5 volts, that will uh, be helpful for switching on the entire circuit. And I should also give one common ground point at the bottom. One common ground point. Give one wiring. The most point I should connect it down. Okay. Now this is A, this is B, this is C as per the circuit. A is X and this is B, this is B. Okay. So now what I will do, I will go with A. I click at points, points, 0 volts, 5 volts, and then delay is 0 for I nano. I spend one nano, on time one nano. On time, I will take 16 mm, time to get 32 mm. Okay? I have three variables A, B, C. So, input combinations are 000, 001, 010, 011, like that. I have to get 0 to 7. All the eight combinations should be possible. That's why for A, I am maintaining 16 mm, 32 mm. Okay, this is for A. Now this is B, I will maintain time period, half of that, half of A, I will maintain time period. Okay, and the voltage is R, 0 and 5, this is 5 followed by 0. This is normal variable, so I am going to do 0 followed by 5. For all the signals, I am maintaining delay time, right time, all time, same values. And here, I am giving half of the time period of A, this is B, I am maintaining half of the time period of A. Okay, so for A I have maintained 16, 32. For B I am maintaining 8 to 16. This is C. 
So go to C, right click, advanced, and the funds, then 0 followed by 5. And delay is 0 0.5 nano, price time 1 nano, call time 1 nano, and on time half of that. So 4 to 8 million. Otherwise, you can also maintain this as 8, 16, this as 4 and 8, this as 2 and 4. Anyway, only then in the waveform you will get all the 8 combinations. Go to simulate, edit simulation, minimum 32 will be how to do, only the 8 combinations will be visible because we have fixed the input time period in such a fashion. So this is the circuit. I'm just executing it. Window. Time vertical. I'm going to have four waveforms in the output window. So add block plane, add block plane, add block plane, four waveforms. So click on the first one, run button, click on view. This is a variable, you should be thorough with the subject, only then you will understand. Click on the second block plane, run button, click on B, click on B. Click on the third block plane, run button, click on C. Okay, so now you can see this is 0, 0, 0, this is 0, 0, 0, this is 0, 0, 1, and this is 0, 1, 0, this is 0, 1, 1, this is 1, 7, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. All the 8 combinations are possible. All the 8 combinations are possible. Okay, so now I am going to check the output. Click on the output not link, run button, and go to this point. On this. This output waveform I did it. This output waveform I did it. And how we have to go with this is we have to draw the truth table. I have done the truth table for I have done the truth table for first circuit. That I have drawn a second circuit. For first circuit, I have drawn the truth table. Similarly, you have to draw the truth table for this. A into B plus C, you have to draw the truth table. Here, what I have done is A plus B into C, the first circuit truth table. If you have the two table for second support, only then we can check so that the output waveform it is matching or not. Okay, this is the waveform I am taking presently. So this is what we have done for the circuit A into B plus C. A into B plus C execution in LP space of the static remote logic. 